like and subscribe if you have no problem with the truth. If you do, then this channel is not for you. Now, I saw a video and it contained black women complaining about an Asian woman having her hair done so that she could wear an afro. They were complaining. Why? She has every right to wear an afro when you consider the fact that black women are wearing weaves made out of Asian hair. If black women can wear Asian hair, then she can fix her own hair to be like that of a black woman. Quid pro quo. Something for something. Understand this. Imitation is the best form of flattery. When someone imitates you, it is flattery. Flattery is not a bad thing. Flattery is good. When an Asian woman wears her hair in an afro, she is saying that afros are beautiful. And who wears afros? Black women. women. It is a compliment. It is calling you beautiful. How can you have a problem with someone wanting to be as beautiful as you are when you see other black women wearing Asian hair? Asians are big in black communities when it comes to hair, makeup, and things like that. And black people going to those Asian markets or stores is a form of flattery. It is a form of flattery. And if you go into these stores and you carry yourself with dignity, a lot of the problems that we see will not exist. We have to understand something. Asians identify with what they see, the narrative that white supremacists present to them on TV. That is what they see if they don't live around us. What we have to do is to destroy that stereotype. How do we destroy that stereotype? We destroy it by acting in a professional manner and carrying ourselves professionally. And that is how we destroy negative stereotypes. But the reality is, is that black women have fallen victim to the narratives that white supremacists put on TV shows like Housewives of Atlanta. They argue, they fuss, they fight, and they teach young black women to act like this. They tell young black women, this is how you're supposed to act because they are glorified on TV. We have to understand this and break the negative stereotypes that are presented about us. I've had, stere I have broken stereotypes by the way I treat people and the way I act and the way I present myself. 
I present myself in a professional manner. I'm going to tell you the truth. I do not speak to Caucasians until they speak to me first. And if they don't speak to me first, then we're not going to speak. You see, I am not going to acquiesce. I am not going to play the master boy game. I am superior to you. No. No. They speak to me first, and then I open up and speak to them first. Because of their history of Satan, Satanism and their demonic behavior. I put them in their place. They have to reach out to me or be ignored. What I am saying is imitation is the best and the greatest form of flattery. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. If you see an Asian or a Caucasian wearing an afro, if you're upset about it and it bothers you, then wear a bigger afro. Make sure yours is neater. Wear the big earrings with it. That really sets off an afro. Or the medium-sized earrings. I love a woman in be sure love a woman in the afro. Love to see a black woman in the afro with a nice body and a sundress on. Get out my way. But if you, hey, if you see a, a, a Asian or a white woman with an afro, say thank you. Say thank you. See, that's the problem with a lot of black women. I don't really want to go here, but that's the problem with a lot of black women. Women. You get smart, you get emotional, and you get upset about everything before you think about what you're doing. Then you wonder why you are the, the most beautiful women in the world, but you are the less desirable because of your personality. Because of your personality. Black men, regardless of all the discrimination, we can go overseas and get women. Asian. Philippines, Thailand, because women like men that are men that are gentle. And see, black men aren't the reason why white women became feminists. You see, black men, we did we did nothing to cause or hold women back. Black men have always allowed their women to work if that's what they want to do or stay home if that's what they want to do. And we didn't complain about it. And we've always treated our women more as an equal than white men. And white women see that. Then they see the way we dance, we joke around when we're more relaxed. And that's why White men hate us so much because they're not, they're not as athletic and they don't have our swag. White, black women, you have swag, but you're throwing it away. Your personality is throwing it away. Your personality, let me tell you something. A black man is always going to want to date a black woman first. His mother is black. Why would he desire any other ethnicity than of his mother's ethnicity, the woman that he has loved all his life? Now, let me finish. I didn't want to go this long, but look. That woman that was imitating, that said it worked for the NAACP and she was a white woman and the white media jumped all on her because they did not want her to flatter black people. 
they knew that what she was doing was flattering black people and she might cause other white women to do the same. Kim Kardashian became rich because she slept with a black man and got away with it. And that just opened the floodgates for all other white women. While black women are pushing black men away. See, feminism was also about a white woman freedom of body, freedom of choice. She didn't want them to tell, she didn't want white men to tell her, I can't marry a black man if I want to. She didn't want to be castrated by society by marrying a man of her choice. See, you have to pay attention to what's, don't get caught up in the, see, the white media jumped on that woman that wanted to be, the white woman that wanted to be black. And then black women, you just follow suit. You let them set the narrative for you without you thinking about what's going on. Without thinking about what's going on. It's like you, you are, you're afraid to love yourself when you see someone imitating you. Because guess what? An imitation is never better than the real thing. So what is your problem? Like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Lord help us.